Compensate competitively and creatively. Compensation is a huge topic right now. I know Donna and Steve both talked about this when we first started, but there's a lot of different ways for you to think outside the box because, you know, as Steve mentioned, compensation is not just the dollar that comes on the paycheck. There are total rewards, and sometimes there are things that you can do that won't even cost you money or as much. So the thing that I always recommend is, again, going back to your employees, asking them, like, what benefits mean the most to you? What benefits do you use? So for, for some employers that may be larger scale, you may wanna take a look at your utilization. Do you have that many employees that are um, enrolling in healthcare with you or are part of your 401k plan? Take a look at what you currently are offering, how is it being used and what resonates with your employee and your, your, your demographic. It's also asking the questions of, hey, like what would you like to see? Or what do you want to see? And part of this is not necessarily even having to ask your employees. If you look at your competitor businesses or other businesses within the industry, look at what they're offering as well. Nine times out of 10, their benefits are posted on their website. So you're able to see as to how you competitively stack up against those that are competing for the same pool of talent. And then last but not least, again, asking that question of why is it that they love working for you? For some folks, um, you know, they may say, I'm super grateful for my job and really the one thing I love is that you just give me the flexibility to work from home a couple days a week. And for that one employee, that could mean everything. I'll be super transparent and share that for us at ProService because we do offer like a flexible schedule, flexible work environment. That's the one differentiator that is driving our candidate pool right now. There are people who are saying like, hey, I love, I love my job and what I'm doing at X, Y, and Z, but you know, I wanna be able to work from home so I can be with my kids more often or not have to commute as far, you know, to go to work. So again, there are benefits that are gonna cost a little bit. There are some that are absolutely free, but first you wanna talk to your employees. You wanna hear from them because the last thing that you wanna do is spend money or go through the process of, you know, trying to put together a new benefit plan or offering. And it's gonna have little to no value or meaning or impact to your staff. And we'll talk about this, I think, when we get into the Q&A session of how we at ProService can help you with that as well.